June 23rd. Okay, so the moon in Capricorn is going to go void, of course, at 11.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into the moon in Aquarius energy at 11.15 p.m. So first of all, we have pretty much another full day of the moon in Capricorn grounding us, anchoring us, showing us what needs to be done, pushing us into new roles, responsibilities, pushing us into kind of being a little bit more productive in our physical realm to try and avoid some of the emotions, some of the thoughts going on in our inner realm. When the moon is in Capricorn, we become very aware of the blockages, of the challenges, of the issues that we need to fix, that we need to heal, that we need to resolve. When we move into the Aquarius energy, suddenly we think outside of the box because we act as the observer. We're able to emotionally detach from our presence, from our situation, from our circumstances to see the greater, grander vision, how things are all interconnected, where it is that we've been banging our head against a wall and where it is that we're coming up with some creative solutions, especially when it comes to setting ourselves free. There are seven different aspects taking place here today. All seven of them involve the moon, which means that this is a moon day. We are going to be in our inner realm. We are going to be processing a lot of different thoughts, different emotions, different, I'm going to say perspectives. And in the process of this, we have some beautiful energies really encouraging us to see things from a new set of eyes. So we kick the day off with the moon in Capricorn energy, making a very positive interaction with Neptune, who of course is in the final degrees of his rulership in Pisces energy. This is a little bit of a realization on where it is that we need to kind of renew, refuel our soul, our spirit. This is an element where we are starting to think a little bit more long-term about our goals, our dreams, our ambitions, and we're receiving some intuitive insight, some guidance, if you will, on what it is that we could do differently in order to actually start making some progress in a new path, in a new direction. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Saturn, who happens to rule over the Capricorn energy. Saturn, of course, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. In this Pisces energy, we are definitely taking a good look at where certain aspects of our physical realm are no longer strong enough to support the vision, the goal, the dream that this new version of self now has. This particular interaction is kind of bossing us up not in a harsh reality check kind of way, just a matter of fact kind of way. Like this is what we have to do in order to close the door on certain aspects. This is what we have to do in order to build a bridge to get ourselves from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. And there's a certain term of acceptance, whether or not we actually like what needs to be done doesn't really matter. We are bossing up again, taking accountability and responsibility for our realities and we are putting forth a new vision on what it is that we would like to build and create from here. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings happening in this Gemini energy. There's a division there, especially with a lot of the thoughts, a lot of the ideas in which we're having. This particular aspect, again, going to kind of show us where it is that we do and have an opportunity for growth have an opportunity to move on, to move forward towards a new project, towards a new goal, towards a new vision. However, there are some things that we need to wrap up again on our to-do list that we would prefer not to have to deal with that we know we have to deal with before we can actually get the party started in a new path, in a new direction. This is giving us a greater, grander vision of the possibilities that we currently have on the table for us, but also Again, very back and forth, very much the seesaw energy in our headspace. The moon in Capricorn then goes ahead, gets into the boxing ring, fights it out with Chiron, the wounded healer. Now, Chiron's in Aries energy, helping us with this new version of self, helping us to grow, helping us to heal, helping us to evolve who it is that we actually are and how it is that we actually present this ego avatar out into the world. So, of course, a square doesn't feel good. It highlights fears and doubts and insecurities. It is a tension point. It is a conflict point because we're going through a growing pain. And so this particular interaction definitely going to have us a little bit in a more negative narrative than we would prefer a little bit more I'm going to say 
focused on the past than we are on the present or on the future. And there is this realization that there are habits, there are narratives, there are emotions, there are thoughts from the old version of self that we just moved away from, very much trying to pull us back into old situations, circumstances, and scenarios. The moon is then going to trine Uranus. This is going to be great for us because it's going to break us out of that funk, break us out of that mood. This is a new mood, new attitude. This is opening us up to seeing where it is that there is a new path kind of dangling in front of us, where it is that we do have the options to kind of switch up the methods in which we've been doing things in order to create a different result. There is an aha moment here, a level of awareness coming in that has us kind of more optimistic, more positive, more inclined to kind of think about the new things that we could do and kind of abandon the same old, same old ways. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy. Again, that north node trying to get us on the right path to be more independent, to go on the solo quest, to fulfill the wants, needs, desires of our soul's mission, of our soul's potential. This particular interaction is going to illuminate where it is that guess what? It may be slow. It may be a very tough energy to move through, but we are starting to see some exit points from the old and some entry points into the new. We're starting to see the options, the opportunities to do things our own way, to do things individually. And where it is that, again, we have wants, needs, and desires that we have to start fulfilling within ourselves, which means that we may have to break away from some codependent relationship dynamics. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Capricorn energy, sextiling Neptune. So we started the day off with a positive interaction with Neptune. We're going to end the day off with a positive interaction with Neptune. And this is just going to refresh our inner realm of our soul, of our spirit, remind us what it is that we're going through these tough love life lessons for, download us with new intuitive insight, new guidance, new validation, confirmation on the path in which we want to be walking and putting us in a very good mind space to understand the karmic chapters that are coming to an end, freeing us up to pursue new storylines, new karmic chapters that are much more in alignment with our soul's mission, with our soul's purpose. It is at this particular point that the moon in Capricorn is going to go void, of course. We're only in it for about nine minutes of instability and uncertainty before we lock into that Aquarius energy. Music